Documentaries like Fear. Yash tells you about trademarks and LLCs. Do you think we plan? Well, do you? What's up? You will see documentaries like Fear. Yash tells you about LLCs and trademarks. Human Brain Part 1, Part 2. So, what are you waiting for? Come on in. Hey, man, it's private. Close the door. Seven stage. What's up, family? Yashkara is here. News that you can use. Today, I am going to be addressing some things about <clears throat> just a small brief of entertainment industry based on the interview of Murphy Lee of St. Lunatics. Nothing harsh or bashing. It's, it's, we're time out for that. The last thing I want to do is bash another black man, even though... It's entertainment, but this black brother, uh, Murphy Lee didn't sell his soul, but uh, I want to address something that Murphy Lee said in his interview that people don't know this industry is still trying to blow up by trying to get their talents to P. Diddy, um, DJ Cali, and all the rest of these dudes, and they still believe in the hype. And I just think if you're going to be real, be real, but Murphy Lee left a lot of stuff out. This is what I'm talking about today, the St. Lunatics one. What's up, guys? This is just news you can use. I am Yash Kira, host of Yash Radio, owned and operated founder of Yash Radio, founded by 7stage.com, sponsored by 7stage.com, hosted at iHeartRadio and iTunes, speaker.com. Thank you for lending your ear on this February 9th, 2018. So here we go, man. This is my radio show. I own it. I do whatever the hell I want to do. And the only reason I'm bringing this up and putting this on my show today, because I've been done with entertainment, but every now and then there's things that sparks the fire that I have to address. And one of the things I want to address is not to be putting Murphy down. Any brother from St. Louis and East St. Louis, big ups to them, man. So we can't drag each other down. But at the same time, Murph. We have to tell the truth, man. I heard your interview and a lot of the interview was really good and how Universal busted up with Def Jam Mountain, uh, what Motown. They went they went three different uh, three different divisions. I, I, I know that. But that's not what killed Murphy Lee's career. <laughs> OK, let's just I can't stand it when these brothers try to cover up. And basically, Murph just don't want to tell the truth on Nelly. So the dude was being comical because he, I guess he don't believe it. He asked Murphy an in-depth question. Do you think some executive took uh, Nelly to the room and part of the Illuminati? Then Murph started joking. Oh, man, get the fuck out of here. Ain't no, ain't no black man part of the Illuminati. Murphy Lee, stop bullshitting. Josh Kira, baby. I'm from East St. Louis. You from St. Louis. We don't live no more than what? 10, 15 minutes away. When I'm in East St., that St. Louis University, come on, man. Natural Bridge, nigga from East St. Louis live over there. We come over there on a regular. Stop the bullshit, man. So this is what I want to tell you. The reason Murphy Lee's career didn't blossom is not because he's not good. Murph actually is a better writer than Nelly. This is a fact. And I think anybody in the St. Louis would, would, would tell you this. Uh, Murph is a better writer and a better rapper. This, it's just truth, man. Okay, that's just the truth. And he, he laid the tracks down better, the music. The overall, I, in my opinion, Murphy Lee is a better artist than Nelly. It's just the truth. Now, let's get to the facts, okay? And this is not about Hollywood. This is about St. Louis and East St. Louis because that's people back there still trying to blow up. And I'm telling y'all, get out that music industry. And if you want to do it, man, just do your shit independently. 
Okay, there is ways that you can own your own distribution without paying nobody any monies if your if your music starts to sell. CD Baby is a good outlet, but the, the, the thing I don't like about CD Baby, they won't let you drop multiple singles. If they won't let you do it, they'll charge you. And then for every album, they charge you. you I think you get so many albums a year. But they charge you for it. And then if the shit sell, they want some kickback for it. That's just not cool. I don't think nobody should get any royalties of your music unless you cut a deal with them. That's not if I pay for my if I'm paying for a service, why should you cut a deal? So what they're saying is we're going to put your stuff on iTunes, Spotify, but we deserve some kickback, you know, Whatever it sells, we want a percentage. That's what CD, everybody goes to CD Baby. Man, they're not the only flame in town. There's some distributions out there will let you, you pay a fee once a year and you can go to all the musical outlets digitally because that's where we're going. Best Buy has announced in July they're no longer selling CDs. Walmart going to follow and Target's going to follow because CDs don't sell no more. CDs becoming like cassettes, obsolete. Everybody's going digital streaming. So back to the era. Now I'm going to get to Murph, but I just want to get to this first. Um, there's distribution out there will let you keep all your royalties but here's the kicker you're not going to make money off music anymore music is just used as a metaphor of promotion now your grind is going to make you money so if you got a strong grind people want to see you the ticket sales is what's going to make money but the music itself is not going to make money it's just the truth it just won't you got people out there that have sold their soul and still can't get it right still ain't selling records the industry buying them. <laughs> Y'all don't believe that, right? When an artist come out now, the industry buys their own music, man, to make them look like they popping because the people ain't buying it. They go see them, but they ain't buying the music, man. They download it. It's too free. It's too much. It's like Napster all over again, right? So <laughs> CD Baby is okay, but there's a be- there's, there are better outlets and you got to do your homework. I'm not going to give them to you. You got to do, you do your homework. You know, like I have distribution, OK, but don't nobody dip in my pockets. Whatever little money I t- make, I make. If I do a deal with somebody, we, be, we do 50 50. But hell, the music don't sell, man. I just do it for the enjoyment of soundtracks and doing for my documentaries. But going back, that's the era that people don't understand. When the St. Lunatics nailed in the first star, I think country grammar, 1999 or 2000, uh, somewhere in that era, 2001. I don't know. I was in. I know I was in. uh Shit, I was in East Saint when that came out. So anyway, when that popped, nobody sold their soul. I mean, it was popping, it was rocking. Actually, none of them was was kicking ass just locally. They was grinding their ass off, man. That's the truth. That's how they got popping. And University took notice on that's how they really got popping because they grind was so hard. But the problem with artists, they don't understand business. So they grind was hard, but nobody wanted to do the business. And about time the business card clicked in their brain, Universal split in three divisions. But that's not what killed Murph's career. Now, let's go back to the era when Brother was t- asking him about Illuminati and Murphy denied that Nelly have not did nothing like that. No, by, no black man. And that's bullshit, bro. And it should be you should really have a, a sense of urgency to want to tell these people the truth. Let me just give a broad example how this shit played, man. And new edition, everybody's not the go-to person. Michael Bivens is the go-to person, okay? He's the ones that get everything popping and rocking. Matter of fact, when they made a comeback, they went on P. Diddy's uh, Bad Boy label and came back uh, keeping it keeping hot, uh, getting hot tonight, something like that. It didn't pop. And it's not because it wasn't good because I thought the joint was hot, but everybody was calling new edition old and no promotion was p- uh, permitted on that album because P. P. Diddy pretty much just figured it would ride on his own because of their legacy and it didn't. So when that went sour, um, everybody was pretty much done with Diddy anyway or Puff Daddy. The new edition didn't want to screw with him, but Mike had a tie with him. So to make things better with him and Michael Bivens, P. Diddy gave Michael Bivens some type of hosting type of show that gave him some more money, you know, and that made Mike feel better. But Mike is the go-to guy. Mike's the one sold his soul. Now, I'm not saying that um, Johnny Gill and um, Ralph Trapvan hasn't done it because I believe they have. But um, what people don't understand, you don't blow up unless you give something up. 
Ralph Trasman had to give something up to be a household name. That's just the way it is, okay? BBD, uh, Ricky didn't have to sell his soul. He took the oath, but I can't tell you for a fact he sold his soul along with, um, oh, shit, the tall dude, light skin. What's his name? Ronnie DeVoe. We don't, I can't tell you for a fact because Ronnie don't do just background and things of that nature. But BBD got put together by Michael Bivens. He was the go-to person. Okay, let's give another example. Jodeci. Everybody in Jodeci was not the go-to person. Okay, JoJo Casey was not the go-to person. Um, da- Dalvin was not the go-to person. It was Devante. He's the one that sold his soul. He's the go-to person. You, get, you, you see where I'm going with it? Now, later on, as they, became, as they broke off, Casey and JoJo had to go down that dark road because there was no apart. See, if they, if they stayed together, Devante is the go-to person then they can take the ride with him same difference with uh, Drew Hill okay everybody thought Cisco sold his soul but he didn't took the oath but the go-to person was the producer in the group that nobody really saw that much he was the go-to person he's the one that making all the clicks and glamour and they tell you that on YouTube go listen to the Drew Hill story now I give props what props is given because the Drew Hill get told the truth they told the truth about look at the dude with the funny outfits front of him. That's the guy that was the go-to guy who everybody was going to. He told you who sold their soul. And he didn't deny no Illuminati shit. And that's that's you got to give them brothers big ups for that, okay? But Murph, I'm disappointed, man. How could you and the only reason I believe you covered up for Nelly, because you you want to get back in that limelight. They ain't gonna let you in, Murph. Because you you got to kill somebody, man. Now, I'm going to just give a grand, grand example. <clears throat> St. Louis Takes is very talented. I don't know all them guys personally. I'm just telling you the talent. Uh, I think uh, Ali was talented as well. But Murph just was the man. In my opinion, I think Murphy Lee is more talented than everybody in the group. Nelly just was the go-to person. It was just something about his charisma. He was a go-to guy. Okay. And that's who they shined upon. Now, just like in every group, there's one person who they'll go to first. And Nelly was the person. After they went to Nelly, uh, going, you know, getting him groomed and ready to sell his soul, it came to Murph. Murph Lee could have been bigger than Nelly because he's more talented. But Murph did not want to go down that road. And that road is to do the rituals. One of the rituals is suck a man's dick and have that other man suck your dick. And after you pass that test, then you got to take it in your ass. Now, how do we know this? Well, didn't that rapper called Nine, that light-skinned Puerto Rican, whatever the fuck he is, light-skinned dude, to call himself the Nine? Y'all know with all crazy color hair, okay? Now, check this out for a second. Didn't there was a video on YouTube with a dude getting bone in his booty? Okay, now they might have took it off, but somebody recorded it and leaked it. Now, Last I heard, Birdman got his hands all over this guy, and one of the young thug or whatever is getting jealous because Bird, that's Birdman's bitch, young thug, or whatever his name is. So he doesn't find another bitch. Birdman don't like women. So for Tony Braxton to go to Birdman, she's desperate. Now, if Birdman sacrificed Tony Braxton, Birdman's debt would be wiped clean and Birdman be a billionaire. I, I just thought I'd throw that in there. Y'all may not understand that but i just thought i'd throw that in there so tony braxton is doing herself a disservice even though she sold her soul too so but let's just get back to the the point the problem with the industry i know too much and on top of it i just know the bullshit so every now and then i let people talk their shit and let them walk their walk but when i hear things like this especially being from st louis east st louis come on man i can't go with that i can't i can't let that go i'm like if a Saint, if a if a if a Cali nigga, New York nigga like Jim Jones talk that shit about, I saw him on a Breakfast Club. He was sitting back talking about because he would rock Rock Nation. He so Jim Jones sold his soul a long time ago. But anyway, Jim Jones talking shit and said, um, "I'm just throwing this in there." Uh, a lot of people want to be independent. He said that's cool, but don't don't necessarily put the uh, national folks or the major folks on back burner because they could broaden your career. You know why he had to say that shit? Because he's part of the agenda. He's part of the confusion. If you're independent, man, don't listen to that bullshit. Jimmy is out of his fucking mind. 
I mean, all these niggas, you, you look at a dude like Jim Jones and, and you were swerping down. This nigga is not fucking with no homos and he, he has fuck with homos. I just tell you, y'all, y'all just can't see it, can you? Now, didn't Quincy Jones tell you about the manly men in our lives that, that made us laugh and had some of the best music in the world? Marvin Gaye was a manly man and was taking dick in the ass. Richard Pryor was a manly man. And taking dick in the ass. Come on, man. Marlon Brando? Yeah, that's not even half of it. This shit. That's not even half of it, guys. So I'm just telling you, you don't think Denzel taking it? Come on, man. It's, it, I know to just look at him, you're like, oh, I can't believe it, but it's happening. Quincy Jones on his deathbed. He don't care. Now, the thing with Tevin Campbell, I'm just throwing all this in here to get this out. The thing with Tevin Campbell, he wasn't molested. But he took dick. <laughs> so, Kevin, if you're going, if you're going to say get the fuck out of here on your Twitter, be more specific. You're older now. You, you see, you see things different. But when you came in, you was definitely fundled, honey. You, 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 you was brought, you was broken in. And the reason your career dropped, because most people don't know this, you refuse to do the rituals anymore. And that's the truth. You did the same thing that they did that that guy at Home Alone, Corey. What's his name? Cochlin, McCochlin, something like that. That kid, his parents sold him out. And I think he did a couple of home alones and another, but then he dropped out of nowhere. He just dropped out of sight. They they did everything to that boy. Kevin, you might not have been molested, but you definitely took dick, bro. And then we then when you didn't want to go that direction, your career dropped. Now, let's just, just fast forward. Let's fast forward to um Nelly, Nelly was given the opportunity first. Nelly jumped in with both feet. That's why Nelly is still a household name. Mercifully, he hasn't fallen off. He still looked young. He still looked the same. But why come he's, his name is not in lights? And why come his album dropped? When he says album was lost in the sauce, in essence, that means that when Universal did a three uh, joint split, they said, fuck Murph. And the only reason they said fuck Murphy Lee because Murphy Lee wasn't part of the game. The game is sucking dick, doing the rituals, and the brotherhood know of you. No one knew of him. That's why his shit dropped in the sauce. You was pretty much just going off Nelly and his and, and, and being part of St. Lunatics, they was just putting you on. But they come to you and say, hey, man, we got this, thrit, this, this, this split, but that don't mean your album has to be lost in the sauce if you're willing to play the game. You've been asked, bruh. They ask you to play the game. That's why you that your shit fell off. Ain't got shit to do with the three divisions. Now, every now and then, when there's a split, albums and, and shit get lost. But they got the power to pick your shit back up and put it back in print and put that shit on. I've seen it happen. I've seen people who are willing to play the game. They have shit five years. The album is five years old and they put it back on wax and that shit sold like it was yesterday. And so it ain't got shit to do with the split of Universal. It's got to do with you not willing to sell your soul and do the rituals. That's the truth. And Nelly, out of the St. Lunatics, Nelly was the only one who sold their soul. And that's why he got them reality TV shows and all that shit because he sucked dick. And he taking dick in the ass. Now, you ain't going to say it like I said. But when you sit back and do a radio show and these young kids from St. Louis listening to you, man. And he's St. Louis, and you talking about ain't no black man in Illuminati, nigga. You got to be checked on that. You have to be checked, homie, because you talking shit. That's bullshit. Don't, don't, for, just keep it 100. If you're going to, if you don't want to talk about Nelly, say, hey, man, Nelly going to defend himself. Keep this on Murph. I respect that. Then he wouldn't ask you no Illuminati question. But if he going to ask you some shit like if the executive taking Nelly to another room, because they did. They all they do that all. Day. It's always a front person. They'll take away from the group. Give a phone call. Come to this meeting. Uh, we're gonna send you a ticket. We need to talk to you in person. They did talk to him, and you know they talked to him, and you know Nelly. So so everybody know anybody that got any street hustle, and know this gang of for for the industry. They know that everybody know Nelly sold his soul, man, in the loo. Especially the ones that's a, not the, the ones that don't know the business, they don't know shit. But the ones that are part of promotion, and that was uh, what what what's his friend name? Stone. I, I'm, I'm saying your name wrong, Stone. Forgive me. I remember because I I did I brought this out because Stone and Nelly was going back had beef on Twitter. Nelly was getting high and shit because Nelly got a gambling problem. 
and Nelly's on steroids. Okay, shit. So Stone Stone wasn't even gonna say shit because Nelly be doing a lot of stupid shit. <coughs> he aired this shit. Hold on. <coughs> he aired this shit out on the. Uh, it was a few years, wasn't it? Wasn't that shit two thousand nine or two thousand ten? Well, anyway, it was it was somewhere in that Paul Park. Nelly went to um, Twitter and started talking shit. And like I say, I can't remember the brother name Stone Man. I know it was an ass, but it's been a while since I covered that shit. But anyway, the brother it was Stomp or Slim or something like that. Y'all from the Lou know who I'm talking about. So anyway, Nelly's talking a lot of shit with his Twitter, and dude say, "Do you really want to do this?" Because Nelly was high as fuck when he was doing this shit. And he told Nelly what he did to be as big, to po- as popular as he is. Nelly had a uh, a drug habit, a fucking um, gambling habit, and he sold his soul. Now I know this is shocking because Nelly kids are older now. You don't, no one is dogging your dad out, man. Nobody nobody wants to get on here and talk bad about somebody's father because now your kids are older. I get that, like Ice Cube. Ice Cube's sons is grown men now. They can battle for themselves. But I'm sorry to tell y'all, Ice Cube sold his soul too. He been in them gay rooms fucking with fags too. I mean, we gonna keep this shit 100. You don't think Dr. Dre suck dick? You don't think Dr. Dre take dick in the ass? Because he do. He done fucked a lot of young brother. You don't think game got dick down? He has. <laughs> man, come on. Stop fucking around. Him and 50 Cent had a love of squirrel, man. You don't think 50 Cent fuck with fags? Come on. Birdman ain't the only one that fuck with niggas. All them industry niggas fuck with niggas too. Hold up. This is not about putting somebody on blast, man. This is just fucking true. You can't be, you can't blow up in the industry without playing the game, bro. That's why they call it playing the fucking game. You can deny this shit, but it's the truth. All right. Um, most of the people. That's in the industry. Do not believe in Yahweh being Yahweh. That's why they always go to Islam and worship a, a, a fucking moon god. That Islamic shit, bruh. None of them believe in, in, in Hebrew. None of them believe in Yahweh being Yahweh. They never call the most high name Yah. Them sons of bitches will stray away and go to a moon god and say Allah. That's just the way they roll. All the hip hoppers do that because they wicked. These niggas don't fuck with women. They in the beginning they start off fucking with them bad girls, but then they want chicks with dicks. Half them niggas in St. Louis, and I say this, Nelly, even Nelly and Chingy, he don't. I don't know nothing about Murph like on that level, but Nelly and Chingy fuck with Sydney Star. They fuck with her, man. Stop bullshitting. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that's the that's the game you gotta play. And then that was a thing going on with Nelly's bodyguard who got shot in the head. Was that Nelly's sacrifice? Because he was falling off. As of right now, Nelly needs another sacrifice. Why did we say this? Because Nelly don't want to do the rituals. How do we know Nelly don't want to do the rituals? Murph, I'll say it because you ain't going to say it. They bringing charges up on Nelly about sexual harassment. That's the game, man. That's the game. Russell Simmons can get out of this shit if he give up his daughters. If he kills all, Russell Simmons got what, two or three daughters? If Russell Simmons either give up his daughter or Vanessa and Angela, his nieces from Run, if he sign off on a blood sacrifice, they'll wipe everything away. You never hear nothing else bad about uh, Russell, but he's not willing to do it. I'm just telling y'all this shit. The rabbit hole goes deep. And half the shit that y'all think is real is not real. These niggas get fucked in the ass. Uh, what, that, what's that boy, Puerto Rican, like I told y'all, his name called The Nine or something like that? Well, he signed a $7 million deal, bro. And, che- and tell you that he, he knows what he's getting into. He tweeted the shit saying, I'm signing my life. I'm joining the Illuminati. And people thought the shit was hilarious. He signed a $7 million. That's why, like, Mingos, they got all kind of money. But to what extent? Them niggas fucking fast, taking it in the ass, rituals. Somebody got to die. They do for blood sacrifice. Didn't we just not hear about DJ Cali's stepbrother? Come on, man. He convinced his fiance to give up your brother. They sign. His name is in the books with blood and her name. Before they kill anybody, he had to put his name in blood with a fingerprint, him and his fiance, and they signed off on that shit and they videotaped it. And y'all have no fucking clue. That's why Murphy Lee didn't blow up. Has shit to do with Universal. 
He ain't willing to play the game. So, Murph, it ain't about bringing you out, man. It's about you saying that that shit don't exist. I had to pull your whole car, bro. Don't don't tell niggas in St. Louis who don't know this business like I do and tell them that this shit don't happen in St. Louis because niggas are selling souls and sucking dick and spreading their ass cheeks just to get on. And that's the fucking truth. Now, if you hadn't answered it and pleaded the fifth, I have respect for that. Nelly, y'all tight. But for you to say the shit don't exist, no, nah, man. I had to come out on you on that because that's bullshit. And you know that's bullshit. And anybody that knows anything about the industry locally in St. Louis know Nelly sucked dick. Know he was on all fours. Know he fucked with P. Diddy. Know he went the, he, that nigga deep in the rabbit hole, man. You can't get fucking sitcoms and all that shit because you talented, nigga. If that's the case, everybody be a star. That's, that's the reason they call it one hit wonder. Because them motherfuckers saw what was going on and jumped the fuck out. John Todd tried to tell them niggas, but they had to see it for themselves. And they said, I ain't fucking with that. Like I said, when you fuck with manly men like with, 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 with Marvin Gaye getting dick down, man, that's a shocker, ain't it? But hell, I knew. Check it. Why did Marvin Gaye blow up? He sacrificed Tammy Terrell. You see how this shit blows up? How how did Bobby Womack become a household name? Bobby Womack had that that fucking killing of Sam Cook. That's when Bobby blew up. How do we know this? Tom was, Sam Cook Sam Cook wasn't even in the fucking grave before that nigga went and got Sam Cook's wife. That's some dirty shit. And I'm gonna tell you something. Bobby Womack before he passed long ago, he did a song called "You Really Shouldn't Trust Me So Much" because he was fucking Sam Cooke's wife while he was alive. That's a dirty dude. This shit want to go deeper? Cause we can keep going with this shit, bro. I'm too old school, man. I, and that's the thing; I don't like it. People can say what they want, cause I ain't trying to defend none of these niggas in the industry. I'm just saying, don't. Tell these kids between the ages of 15 and 25 that's first time hearing this shit in St. Louis, East St. Louis, Centerville, Belleville, Fairview Heights, etc., Chi Town, that you don't have to sell yourself. Keith She is a fucking devil. That nigga see demons every day, nigga. That nigga gone, man. He done sold his soul. He done did so much shit. That's why he stayed, he, he stayed doped up, man. Them niggas are de- walking demons. And anybody hanging with these fools, you could be a blood sacrifice any day. Look at all the bloodshed that's in the shot, man. None of them niggas blowing up. They killing each other. What about St. Louis? St. Louis told the truth about Spike Lee. He went on on him. And then what happened? Spike Lee sent the goons because Spike Lee is boule. He's connected. Tried to have him killed. You ain't heard shit up from St. Louis, have you? He's blackballed, man. So when you tell the truth... You 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 get shut down. That's why Murph is sitting in the back going, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get in this. I'm gonna I'm a deny all this shit. Man, how do you sleep with yourself? How the fuck you sleep with yourself, man? To sit back and tell these kids in St. Louis that shit don't exist. Ain't no fucking way I'm gonna let you get away with that, homie. And I gotta say, shout me out. Did I go deeper than that, homie? I can go deeper than that. I, you St. Louis tick niggas done did some shit that don't nobody know. Go, 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 let's go deep. Because a lot of you niggas was getting weak. Some of y'all wanted to, well, shit, let's do what Nelly doing. Come on. Y'all had a female rapper too, remember her? We don't even go there. But she was pretty good. She's all right. You know, they had a, she lost weight and shit still didn't blow up. And because she wasn't willing to play the game. But it goes deeper than that. We can get to the chingy thing and. Man, I'm trying not to even go there. I'm just making a point where it's not about putting people on blast. It's about don't sit back and have an interview and say that shit don't exist. You out your fucking mind, nigga. I'm from St. Louis, East St. And I ain't going to let that shit pass. Because I know we got young folks that look up to these dudes still. And they going, well, Mercy, it, don't, it ain't real. Bullshit. Josh Karab been peaching this shit for 12 years, nigga, and it's coming to pass. When you see a nigga on YouTube getting fucked in his ass and then later he get a $7 million deal, that's the high pops, man. It's called the game. And if you're willing to play the motherfucking game, you ain't going to get no money. You ain't going to get no glamour. You ain't going to get no endorsements. You can't be a household name. Nelly is a homosexual. He's a bisexual. And I know his kids may take offense to this. It is what it is. I know... um, What's that man who died 
Eddie Long, you got a beautiful daughter. She's she's beautiful as fuck. She took it personal when it was talking about her daddy. Well, your daddy is a molester. He fucked boys in the ass. He's a high priest mason. He's a part of the brotherhood. That's all he did. He had like he's going to help kids. He put them in his congregation and fuck them. And that's the truth. I know it's hard for you to gravitate to that, but your daddy was a molester. Ain't nothing glamorous about that fool. He is what it is. Creflo Dollar is a fucking homo. T.D. Jakes, part of that shit. Y'all can't, see, y'all can't muster that shit, yo. You can't muster that T.D. Jakes go to these rituals and, and, and watch men fuck men. And then he suck a, a little dick on the side. Y'all can't, y'all can't believe that. Joel Osteen is a homo. You can't, you can't, you can't muster it, can you? And them, the men of the Lord. Christianity is the most bullshittest religion that ever happened. Religion means restrain, bondage, and keep down. What the fuck is y'all talking about, man? I didn't mean to get on here and go this far because all of it ties in together. The industry, the church, the 501c3, all the entertainment shit, it all connects. It's like a dot. All that shit connect to the industry, man. Music is all a part. Now, ask yourself this. The fucking Super Bowl, what that got to do with the most high? These sons of bitches in Christianity having uh, Super Bowl parties and celebrations. Come on, Yolanda Adams tried to tell y'all some shit in her song because she sold her soul too. Y'all think because they do gospel, they don't sell their soul? They worse. They fucking worse, man. I mean, you'd be shocked in them rituals when you see these fools in there. Pastors and preachers who has a name in there with shehees, men with dicks, sucking and fucking and swallowing. Jamal Bryan, you a part of that shit too, homie. Oh, <laughs> we can go. You don't know how far the rabbit hole go, man. So that's why when these niggas in the entertainment industry get asked that question, do executives take certain people to the room and, and, and try to make deals with the Illuminati? They're going to say, oh, man, don't bring that shit up because you hurting them. You're bringing up a sore thumb that you cutting their ass, man. They can't stand that shit. Them niggas are all looking out for each other. I have no fucking way I'll be hanging out with no Murphy Lee. No saying because them niggas trying to come up, man, and they need a nigga they can sacrifice. They're getting weak. Them niggas ain't strong, man. Them niggas ain't strong. They sitting back going, see, you have motherfuckers out there listening and saying, um, you, you, you got niggas out there saying, hey, look, man, it's just a game. It's like pimping, you know, suck so, dick ain't number skin. And they get in their head, hey, man, look, so and so did it. So, and they show you footage because once you get in that world, they show you who been doing it, man. That's why it's so easy to finale do it. P saw his his IP did he Puff Daddy do it? Puff, they got uh, films, pictures of Puff Daddy sucking and fucking. So you going what? Did Fifty do it? Yep. So all your icons are have done it. You going well? Shit, ain't no big deal. Then I guess I'll do it. See that. <laughs> Lord have mercy. It, it's just it, it goes real deep, man. And I'm not trying to downgrade St. Lunatics. It's a lot of talent in it, and I appreciate the brothers who didn't come forward and um, sell their souls. But if you're going to have an interview and they're going to ask you shit about Nelly, just say I'm not here to talk about Nelly. Okay, cut that shit short. If they're going to ask you a question about Luminati, say, I really want to talk about that either, man. I just want to talk about myself. Whatever them niggas do, that's on them. Then I could really have more respect. But just to throw it out and say that don't exist, you're part of the problem. <laughs> Real talk. I'm, I didn't mean to talk this long, man. <sighs> Shit. I just had to get it out. I'd be saying, like, oh, come on, man. You know, I'm not going to say something. I'm, I mean, St. Louis, what's up? East St. What's up? How y'all doing? Chi-Town. It's my home, man. And I'm these motherfuckers sitting there talking about that shit don't exist. Really now? I guess uh, that rapper nine getting fucked in his ass on YouTube, that wasn't real either, was it? And two, three months later, nigga get, well, actually not. It took him about a year because he, died. he didn't have tattoos at the time on his face. Nigga signed a seven million dollar deal and admitted openly in a Twitter statement, "I'm I'm signed with the Illuminati. I'm I'm you know, signing my life away." And he is. Cardi B doing an interview and she just get all frozen. MK and then they bring her out. What was the cold word? It's 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 good. It's good. It's good. That's a cold word. 
Go back and listen, look at that Cardi B interview when she said, I'm nervous. I don't know what's happening to me. And she just zipped up and they brought her out of it by saying, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Three times. That's the code word to bring her out of her hypnosis. Go check it out again and just watch the commentator because she's a part of the agenda too. When Cardi went stone faced, she said, it's good. It's good. It's good. Come on. That was those was buzzwords to get her out, you know, to bring her back. So you think the shit fake? Did you see Cardi B's outfit? That was the um, Bonfamin outfit. The same thing that um, Beyonce was pimping on a motorbike. All that shit's Bonfamin, man. She's the new Queen B. And people keep saying that's Nicki Minaj. Just shut the fuck up. That is not Nicki Minaj. Damn, people. Now, if Nicki Minaj dead, I, I agree with that. But no, Cardi B, that's why Nicki Minaj been in the background. They, they're working on Cardi right now. All right, so I'm about to get out of here. What? Hold on. Yeah. I'm getting all kind of texts and stuff. Hey, man, um, I didn't mean to stay this long, but <laughs> yeah, right. So I'm going to end this real quick. Ah, oh, I can't find that song, bro. See if anybody can find that. <laughs> We're going to get out of here, too. All the way from Vail, Colorado. It's the resort. And it's going to snow out here. It's going to snow. The foothills is going to get a lot of snow. It's going to be crazy. We're at the resort of Vail, Colorado, guys. I'm going to take a brief moment and come back. We're going to get out of here. I got to go. Got to get out of here, man. Hey, guys. We're going to get out of here, but before we do, we're going to leave you with a song called Soul Takers. Right? Who sent me all this, bro? I'm not interested. So anyway, we're going to do the damn thing. The day is Friday. I'm sorry. Uh, cook my kids. What they want to eat? Uh, what happened? I'm getting all this crazy ass mail, bro. But anyway... We are gonna do some like stir fry some type shit. We're gonna we gonna make it happen. My baby's gonna eat, you know. Hey man, it's not about putting no one down. St. Louis, what's up? Euclid. Um, what up? Laclede's uh Natural Bridge, U City, Wash U, Clayton, Brentwood, Ledoux. Come on, the pair. <laughs> Ameris Star in the Is House. Uh, what, what else? What, I mean, it's so much. North County, it's North South County, is still racist as hell too. Um, which one? Brentwood, O'Fallon, St. Peter's. Come on, I've been all them places. Main St. Louis in his house. Also in Illinois. <laughs> what's the one? Uh, what's up, Brooklyn, Illinois? Y'all grungy as hell. But that used to be my stomping. That used to be my stepping stone, man. Brooklyn, Illinois, man. Brooklyn. Uh, that all I can say is if you ain't never heard of it <laughs> you had to go to see it's, it's a sight to see it's a party town alright talk to y'all soon it's called Soul Takers man y'all be good love y'all much thank you so much for your support I just have to put the truth out there when people confuse my younger folks one hey how you doing have an appointment to see Mr. ST? Yes. Welcome. Man, I'm so excited to be here. I traveled 2,000 miles to get here. And I just want my shot, man. And, um, you know, I'm a go-getter. I do what it take. I pretend to pay. Well, well, whatever it is, man, I'm willing to make. Just, you know, point me in the right direction. I'm the type of dude. You open up the door. <laughs> Man, I come running through for real. You know, you don't have to fumble with me. I get it. I, 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 I'm just, just, I'm the, hey, you know, what up? So now, we're going to make you a star. We're going to do whatever it takes to get you to the next level. We're going to 
Wanna make sure you got the right people Wanna make sure you grow Wanna make sure you trail So the question is, little brother How far you wanna go? What are you wanting to do? To be a star? Whatever it takes This is my dream I've been dreaming about this since I was three I told my mama Yeah, this for me Man, sometimes you gotta be willing to go over and beyond Even if that means falling off, man See, some people don't have it like that I got it like that, man But I ain't wanna do crazy things But if it's anything, you know, like to do with my talent Anything like that Hey man, I'm all in with both feet. Holla at me. Well, let's get something straight. It's not about how far you are. You want to go. It's what you want to do to make the show. You mentioned that you want to do what it takes to go to the next level. Well, that's great. Because we want you going to that room with the green door. Now don't be shocked when you see 12 men, but waking, waiting for you, that's your test, with both feet in, see it's not how you going to participate, want to get in, it's what we think how you fit in, we control the industry, we make everybody rich, we make everybody's fantasy, so I ask you again, how bad you want it. Man, just open up the door. 